Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to generate traffic and leads for your mortgage business. And I think the first thing to understand is when it comes to generate traffic and to, how, and to convert that traffic into nice, hot, ready leads, we have to understand the first part of any single way to get leads and to get traffic is to understand your offer and how to effectively communicate that offer. And I feel like these things are not interchangeable. It's kind of just like you need an effective offer to compel people to actually look at your ad or to read your content. And you need to know how to effectively communicate that offer to build that trust. So the first thing is first is we're going to look at, which is the messaging. We're going to look at the offer is simply what you can provide to the potential client you are targeting in exchange for an opportunity to discuss their mortgage needs. Now, look, I understand. I like to go on dates too, but the simple fact of the matter is I would not like to hear about marriage on the first date. And simply when I see mortgage agents try to sell their clients on the first interaction, to me, that's kind of just like, that's ludicrous. The offer is simply what you can provide to them, to the potential clients. And this is simply all you're going to do in exchange to talk about their mortgage needs. You're only looking for hand raisers, clients interested in having a conversation about their mortgage options. Now, look, I bought a house last year and when I was looking for a loan, I was simply shopping around for the first two months. There was people who was trying to sell me right away and there was people who nurtured me and sent me information throughout the course of those two months. And effectively, it was the one who was consistent that actually sold me on, on a loan. So you're not trying to close the deals in the first message. You're just trying to find out if they want to chat about it. Many loan officers jump straight into selling as soon as someone shows interest in having a conversation. Now, look, I understand you get some leads and you want to convert them into paying customers ASAP. But the truth is interest does not equal ready to commit. So how do you create an offer? So first we have to look at how to create an offer and get complicated, but it is simple. If we simplify it, it, it can actually make some sense. So first we have to look at the problem. Someone who wants to refinance their mortgage, but doesn't know where to start or how to get the best rates. Then we have to look at the who homeowners who are the first time buyers looking to refinance, consolidate debt or need a low monthly payment or what they want to achieve. This can help them secure a mortgage that fits their financial situation, whether they want to lower their monthly payment, pay off their mortgage faster, or consolidate debt. I'm going to give you all some examples. A good offer could be, I help first-time homebuyers get pre-approved and find the best mortgage rates so they can secure their dream home without stress. Another one could be, I help homeowners refinance their mortgage to lower monthly payments and free up cash for their financial goals. The key to when it comes to making a crafty offer is you want to sell the result, never the process. You want to sell the dream, never the journey to get there. Or lastly, I help families consolidate their debt through refinance, giving them peace of mind and a clear path to financial freedom. Me personally, I have debt. And if someone said they could help me find a peace of mind and a clear path to financial freedom, that's worth a conversation to me. You can also go broader, but use this strategy above to create an offer. So how to create the outreach message. This needs to be super simple. Your goal is to just get a positive response. That's it. And here's how I was structured. After sending out almost a thousand DMs a day, getting rejected by almost 75% of them, the 25% of the outreach message that I would actually concur is this. Hi, name. This is your first name. I'm reaching out to homeowners in XYZ location who might be interested in refinancing or securing better mortgage terms in the next few months. Would you be open to a quick conversation to discuss how we can improve your mortgage situation? Look at that. Very simple. I want y'all to understand when it comes to lead generation for mortgage, the key is you want to keep them as engaged as possible. You want to you want to provide as much value as you possibly can. Because like the law of reciprocity, the more value that you give, the more value you get. And once people feel like they have a sufficient amount of value, 
they feel there's almost like an obligation to where they say, you know what, okay, how can I return the favor? And I think it's really a human instinct when you think about it. So when it comes to getting leads and generating traffic, it's always good to understand that you have to lead with value. And when you're outreaching to these people, keep it very simple and give and try to get a positive response. Like I said before, don't try to sell them on the marriage on the first date. What you want to do is get to know them and understand their situation. Because even with a doctor, you never want to you never want to give a cure to something that you don't even know if they're diagnosed for. So the key is to see if they have a specific problem that you can fix.